Enviro activist dump Andy Warhol car in flour in the latest climate protest. This is at Global News. This came out the 18th. This is by Sarah Dakoto. Last name D O C O U T O. Story that hasn't gotten a lot of play. Figured I'd cover it because we talk about history and culture on this channel, preserving great art, great music. So chaos erupted in Milan's Fabrica del Vapore, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, art center on Friday when a group of environmental activists threw eight kilograms of flour over Andy Warhol's BMW M1 art car in yet another display of climate change protest. The Italian news agency ANSA reported that the group of rowdy protesters also glued themselves to the car while others smashed paint-filled balloons on the floor. Performance art. They're engaging in performance art. How exactly is this going to improve the climate? I mean, the carbon footprint alone from smashing paint-filled balloons and throwing flour everywhere and glue, gluing yourself to a car. The fact that these people are breathing is leaving a carbon footprint. The protesters belong to Ultima Generazione, meaning last generation, a self-proclaimed Italian civil disobedience campaign on its website, the group calls for the Italian government to halt the reopening of disused coal plants, cancel new natural gas extraction projects, and prioritize renewable energy. Well, good for them. I'm saying that tongue-in-cheek, of course. Now, this was the third time this month that activists from the group Ultima Generazione have targeted art exhibitions. On November 4th, protesters hurled pea soup over a Vincent van Gogh work in Rome, on November 15th, they threw a black liquid on a Gustav Klimt painting in Vienna. Both masterpieces were protected by glass screens and were unharmed. Friday's protesters shouted to spectators in the gallery as they emptied the bags of flour over the car. The Fabrica del Vapore Art Center has not yet disclosed uh, whether any damage occurred to the painted vehicle, but it was certainly covered almost entirely in flour. Can you bake it? Would you be able to bake this car in an oven? Others in the room attempted to restrain the activists, though it remains unclear if they are Ultima Generazione members, Art Center guests on, or security employed by Fabrica del Vapore, dragged several protesters across the flower-covered floor as they continued to shout. Nonsense, of course. Quote, there's an ecological and climate collapse and no one is talking about it, one, poster, uh, one protester said in Italian. Reading this call to you. We have to take care of this. Get these people out of the room, please. The protester continued to shout about joint war, migration and famine, and drought as a result of climate change. And, of course, these they've got photos of these people being dragged out of this uh, art museum. And they are your typical, your typical climate protester. Bad hair, look like they haven't showered in days. Bad clothes. On Twitter, Ultima Generazone shared video of the incident. Quote, if the media told the truth, the entire population would demand urgent change, the group wrote in Italian. Unfortunately, this does not happen. The problem is still marginalized or even denied. We feel obliged to do so. We can go watch clips of this. Looks like a really nice car, this BMW. Quote, it is absurd to be scandalized by this, remaining indifferent to the fact that thousands of people are already dying from the climate crisis and the government does nothing. Matteo Savini, Italy's deputy prime minister, also shared video of the incident on Twitter. An Italian Savini called the protesters jerks who are infesting European museums, vandalizing artwork, defacing, harassing, and making a mess. Now, Warhol painted the BMW in 1979, a little history about this uh, this art display here. He painted the BMW in 1979, the same year the car featured or was featured in a 24-hour race at Le Mans in France, 
before being taken off the road and placed in a museum. So go check this out at Global News. Climate protesters throw flour on an Andy Way, uh, Andy Warhol painted BMW, glue themselves to the car. So I wonder if you can bake this car in an oven with all that flour, all that glue. Sounds like ingredients they used back in the 19th century. That's what they did in the 19th century. They put all these extra additives into bread to make it look white, make it look fuller, and they could sell it cheap. So again, story at Global News. Activists dump Andy Warhol uh, car in flour and latest climate protest. And if I can get the words out today, we'll be good to go. Got to get ready for work here. A quick video here on Cultural Confederacy. Thanks for being with me. Another one-time video. One one time. One take video. You enjoyed the video. You know what to do. You can also follow me on Instagram. Hashtag Jason Composes. As you know, nothing's perfect on this channel. I just throw these videos out here. They are what they are. But you can also find me at Twitter. Cultural Confederacy at Twitter. This is the Cultural Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this thing we call the United States. And I'll catch you next time.